Hi guys, really quick update today giving you an update on a couple of the mods that I've done on the bike recently. So first one which is obvious when you look at it here, it's very windy out here, is the um, Memphis Shades handguards. Now I really like the quality of these, if you look at them they're really quite thick and solid, really nice construction and very easy to fit. They just go straight on to the, uh, the bolt that holds the wing mirror on. Let me give you a better view. So there's the bolt that holds the wing mirror on. So very easy to fit, which is why I never bothered videoing it. Um, but like I say, really good quality. They make a real difference, really pleased with them. So, there we go. Uh, I think it looks good and very practical. The other modification that I've done recently is the passenger foot pegs. These are the stock ones that you get with Harley Davidson. I bought these Kuriakin ones. I purposely got them different to the ones on the front because these are all blacked out and very seldom used or oh, very seldom will be used um, but I just really like the look of them the only thing I would say um, I haven't videoed fitting these because I've videoed fitting the front ones and it's basically the same all I would say is you need to be careful on what adapters you get so with these Kuriakin um, uh, mini floorboards you can get two types of adapters that's this little bit that goes in here um, now these come without so you have to buy the adapters now with uh, Kuriakin you get the rider uh, peg adapters are different to the passenger peg adapters so there's the um, rider ones which I've got in chrome and these ones um, are in black um, now if you get the black gloss ones the part number for Ari uh, for the Kuriakin ones is um, 8924 this this adapter here is 8924 that's the Kuriakin part number if you want them for the rider adapters they're 8946 I'll put both numbers in the, in some detail underneath the video so just make sure you get the uh, if you're doing it for the passenger you need passenger peg adapters if you're doing it for the rider you need rider peg adapters and they are different so like I said I'll put the info um, at the bottom of the video now the very last um, update is I haven't done it yet is I'm about to do it now and that's I'm gonna put some um, uh, hub uh, caps or um, yeah hub caps I guess you'd call them axle caps on here just to just to finish that off a little bit so let me show you uh, what it looks like, what the kit looks like on the bench. Right, so here it is. You've got, first of all, this comes in two parts. So these are my, these are the um, uh, axle uh, covers that I'm going to put on. Um, that comes, that is a kit that comes with the Allen screw, two Allen screws that have got um, Loctite on them and an Allen key. So that's one part of it. The other part of it is this adapter kit um, which goes through the hub um, with some adapters on each end. All you, all you need to fit this is a 3 16 um, Allen screw or Allen key um, or two, either two Allen keys or in my case I've got an Allen socket and Allen key. Now I think this is a bit of a universal kit to fit a number of bikes. Um, but on the soft tail, um, clearly mine is, mine's uh, uh, the Sport Glide, um, you get, on in the kit you get a long screw and a short screw for both ends. Um, on my bike all you need is a long screw one end and a short screw the other end. So the long screw can, and the short screw can go over there, don't need them, can't even stand them up don't need them so for my bike all I need is a long screw as you look at the bike on the um, left hand side 
um, I'll need a long screw and on the right hand side as you look at the bike I need a short screw if you look at the two um, uh, end bits that go on the end of that rod you see that one is larger than the than the other one so the larger one goes as you look at the bike from the front as you look at it the larger one goes on the left hand side and the smaller one goes on the right hand side they'll only fit one way anyway um, let me take you to the bike and show you you can see on this right hand side of the bike the small one will fit in there and the big one won't so you can't get them wrong so that as you look at the bike the small one on the right hand side the big one on the left hand side and all you do is you get on the right hand side I'm sorry on the left hand side you put the washer on put that on and put so I'm not going to do this at the moment this is just for um, demonstration purposes when I fit it on the bike I will put Loctite on so you put Loctite on there and then you just screw that on all the way up like that and then about an inch in you put this o-ring I have no idea why but it says so in the instructions they give it to you so I put that on on the other one on the other end Put the washer, put it in there, that slides through the axle, and that goes on the other end. So as you can see, that will just go through there, like that, and then that one fits on there. It's as easy as that. So let me just put Loctite on the two ends and put them in, and then we'll get back and we'll fit the uh, hubcaps. okay so there's the uh, fixing kit installed um, so obviously with the uh, the um, the screws in there they've got Loctite on and also as per instructions tighten them up to 11 newton meters so let's put the uh, little caps on now as you can see with a um the screws the little grub screws that you get with it one's longer than the other um, so on the side of the bike with the um, axle nut so that's as you look at the bike that's the left hand side you lose it you use the long screw and on the um, right hand side you use the shorter screw so uh, let's um, let's put those on now okay now as you can see there's there's two uh, holes that you can use um, the this one here you would use on a sportster this one here you use on um, all other models so um, put that on so that we've got the Harley Davidson at the top motor company underneath start the screw off and as I said before it's preloaded with um, Loctite nice and tight let's do the other one yeah. job done so there we go job done I think that looks nice and tidy you could say it's a bit of bullshit but that's all right I'll go with that um, I'll put all the details of that under the uh, video um, but I just wanted to show you how that went together and then the uh, Memphis shade hand guards um, no need to video that that's just very simple and that at the bottom and then again I wanted to explain about the uh, 
karaokein um, adapters for the uh, for the floorboards for the mini floorboards so there we are just a quick update on uh, a few more mods on the bike so until next time you guys ride safe